Now the other hack that I think you could do, uh, iso holds, really the, the key to the fact that iso holds is your muscle contracting, it is contracting, and then you're not moving so not much blood gets in there to help the energy system. So you could actually, I think, a better way is to do the top method, which we would essentially just take, let's say you, you, you're going to do oscillatories of 200 pounds. Well, what you could do is put 300 on it or, you know, 250, take it off, have your arms slightly bent, your chest contracted, do the 10 seconds up here with extra weight, have your partners pull the weight off, then come down and do the 200 right here. So you basically have the, the isometric contraction um, burn through the, the ATP phase, the first 10 seconds, um, not let much blood in, and then go into the lactate phase doing oscillatories at the bottom through the 10 to 30 seconds range um, through those oscillatories and you'll get that benefits of what you want out of the oscillatory movements in the, the glycolysis phase. Uh, what this does, so instead of just going straight through, you do an iso hold which is less taxing but it is taxing. During the first 10 seconds you increase the quality of the work in the, in the lactate phase. I actually have um, some tests coming out, like I said, that will require you to use this concept and method. Now the next one, if you definitely have identified um, they need work in the lactate zone, this is a, definitely a way that you can get through that and get very specific work, okay, done in the glycolysis lactate phase, which one you ever, you choose to call it, and then again, this is less fatiguing so that you can get higher quality work with this glycolysis hack that I came up with. I think it will be pretty effective, please give it a shot, and uh, especially if you have athletes that need to train in the glycolysis phase, such as maybe you want to do it for hockey. Again, I only train under 10 seconds for most of the year, and then at the end you could use something like this to train your lactate sport. It's not something that I do all the time or would do it, you could periodically throw it in, but it's just an option for you to do if you feel that your focus and your programming and your athlete's needs depend on this.